everybody if you want to see how we excavated that pyramid you can click on the screen right now to see that video now this project came with a little activity manual and we decided to do the mummify an apple project so for this project you're going to need some salt baking soda an apple and something to put it in so we're going to mix equal parts of baking soda and salt and then we're using this kind of wrinkled apple that was going to go to the compost bin anyway and we're slipping it into a jar. Now a jar works well for this project but it's not ideal and you'll see why a little bit later. So once we get the apple in now we can fill in the salt and baking soda mixture and now we're just going to leave it. Now the problem with this is that there was no place for the liquid to drain and so you'll see that we had mixed results when we were done mummifying it. So two months later we decided to take everything out and you can see that it's a little bit darker at the bottom and that's because the liquid from the apple came out of the apple and kind of rested at the bottom. Now in an actual mummifying process that the ancient Egyptians did, the body was placed on a plank or a board that was slightly elevated on one side so that the fluid could drain off as it was being mummified, which is kind of a little bit gross if you think about it. But now you can see that the apple that was towards the top was able to mummify a lot better than the two pieces that were at the bottom because it was surrounded by a little bit more liquid. The salt and the baking soda mixture really did a good job getting the moisture out of the apple but then it had no place to go and you can see that it's still a little bit squishy which is probably appropriate for this kind of mummification process and it also did shrivel up the same way that you would expect during a mummification process so overall I really highly recommend this project one of the perks is that it's super easy it's free and you probably have all the supplies that you need in your kitchen already so if you want to be a little bit more authentic, I would maybe put this in a tin can and drill some holes in it so that the liquid could drain out. So I'm going to have all the directions for this project in the description box below as well as on my website if you guys want to try this out. And of course, if you want to catch up on some of the other projects that we did for our ancient Egyptian unit, you can click here to see that playlist. And you can also find me on Instagram to see more pictures. Thanks for watching.